Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis with uh, Merlin the cat. Hey, Merlin. Merlin's going to help me go over some gear. So I wanted to show you, I went to uh, Target yesterday. So cute. I went to Target yesterday and I bought these ultralight shorts because I realized making my gear list on lighterpacks.com that I didn't have any shorts to put on while I wash the ones I actually wear. So um, because if I'm wearing... Um, tights when I'm sleeping or I end up hiking in the tights they're gonna get stinky and I know that from past experience on the PCT so I needed something light just for laundry I don't want a lot of weight so these with the tag which I will cut off but I'm gonna leave the tag in now to show you what brand they are uh, one and seven eighth ounces which is be 33 grams Oh, sorry, 55 grams. Yeah, that's right, 55 grams, because that's what my other hat was. Um, so anyway, 55 grams, one seven to eight ounces. I got these in the women's section. I think there was just one pair, so who knows? Um, I think they're women's. Um, stars above, never heard of the brand. And here's the tag, everything's made in China. Medium, and 97% uh, polyester, 35% recycled polyester, and 3% spandex, wash in cold water. Pretty much the same uh, blend as pretty much everything else I have. Uh, and I say for something like this, it doesn't matter. They feel very light and comfy, but you always want to try things on and, and use them before you go on the trail because the material just might feel awful. It may pull on you. It just may not be comfortable, uh, may chafe you, uh, give you a rash. So you really want to test out all your materials. You don't want to get out there and say, oh, these are horrible. So, <laughs> which I learned with one pair of shorts that kind of, that were light, but they, um, kind of pulled down my heavy pack in the series in 2016 um and so i learned anyway that's it for these shorts um i wanted to show you some other light stuff i bought that and these were i think uh like 12 bucks um also i bought these little um compression sleeves and again if you buy some off-brand stuff um it'll some things i buy really good quality um uh, hi i'm wearing my little hat today and my um i got this at uh goodwill too this was just uh, i think seven bucks nice little running long sleeve shirt uh, i don't like to hike in long sleeves uh at all i'm just too hot i don't care how cold it is i need to have the sleeves off i can put long sleeves over something but i always my base my bottom layer always has to be short sleeve um that's it but anyway it's i'm sitting here so it's a little nippy out right now anyway i want to show you these compression sleeves these come in at um oopsie and no it doesn't have a hole that's for the um thumbs to go through so it partly covers your fingers and it covers your um arms and these come in at 34 grams and these are one and uh, a quarter ounces very very light um and they're made by uh never heard of the company before new value yeah i'm probably less with the cat everything has cat hair in my house but anyway these are compression sleeves i'll pull them out so you can see how long they are and and they have see the little thummy holes so part of your fingers hands are covered too so um, sometimes I brought you know compression sleeves like this tops and bottoms and this saved me from actually bringing a base layer on the PCT in April they were fine and I could just slip this on and it just gave me that little extra warmth without having to have a long sleeve and then as I started hiking I got warmer off they came so a you know, little um, pro tip and these were like a dollar or something at a dollar store so I have really expensive Nike ones but honestly you can use cheap stuff again I've always talked about this the Walmart emergency poncho um, weighs that now remember it's in its case right now so when I take its wrapper out it's one ounce so right now it's uh, 38 grams or one and three eighths ounces uh, it kind of gets kind of big so it's hard to get it on the scale and what else did I get at the again a dollar at the dollar store I got um this which is a expandable um breathable uh stocking cap fits all heads um got a really sexy guy on there um made in China um yeah, definitely model. Um, anyway, so you could use this just for your head um, to keep your head covered, um, like when you're sleeping or like with the bug, my bug net is really light, I could add this because the top is open on the bug net or what um, you can use them for super light gloves or, and it comes with two in a pack. Um, 
I'm not going to take them out of their little packaging right now. I'm just going to throw it on. It's got cardboard in there, and there's two. So you can figure out the weight. It's nominal weight. like So I'd say it's about an eight, uh, one eighth of an ounce. So 10, 10 grams divided by three, about three maybe grams. And you could use these also as um, just kind of little liners on your feeties at night. So um, he's trying to get in the bag. Little liners for the feeties to keep your sleeping bag um, or your sleeping quilt clean if you're not wearing a, uh, if you're not uh, cocooned inside a silk liner. So again, these were like a dollar something. Um, this is what I consider a something like this, a multi tool um, kit in your ultralight arsenal because it has multiple uses. You can stick it on your head, stick it on your hands. If you just want a little warmth, stick it on your feet. Don't need to carry anything um, you know, extra super light. So anyway, that's it. Um, hey Harley, you're never in the video. She showed up too. Yeah, you want to be in the video? Hi baby. Hi baby. She's a cutie pie. I wish I could take her hiking, man. We've take her, taken her on little things, day hikes and stuff. Um, what brands do I have in here? Um, yeah, that's, uh, oh, there they are. So here they are. They're new value protective sleeves. Uh, I can flip this around here. And um, UV protection, high elasticity. Uh, sorry, I can read very well. Uh, it's just that I need new glasses. So I have my glasses pulled down to read fast dry materials for excellent cooling uh, effect. Breathable and comfortable to wear in summer. Perfect for various sports like playing golf, tennis, football, and so on. Like crazy ultralight hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail. So, uh, and what's the material? Um, of course, it contains some stuff that gives you cancer. What else is new? Um, anyway, and yeah, this was the Stars Above. Again, medium. Um, you can see made in China. Yeah, it was twelve ninety nine. Sorry, I said it was twelve dollars. So twelve ninety nine plus tax. And that was the, uh, again, um, look at my last video. I talked all about this, my little hat, which I absolutely love. Oh my God, I'm gonna wear it today and go out and bang out some miles, even though I'm still sick. Anyway, that's it. Um, see, you can go down like this, nice light. And uh, talking about hats again, I don't like a lot of people that want this big brim hat when you're hiking the trail in the desert. Um, I like the sun, I like visibility. You know, I was stalked by two mountain lions back uh, up on, by Donner Pass there. <laughs> so uh, I like to see skunks, rattlesnakes. I just like visibility. And even the Sierras with my Nike feather light hat, I was sweating when it got hot out. I was just like, I was constantly taking it off and only putting it on because it looked good for videos. But otherwise, as soon as the video was over, I had it off. And I just, at one point, it was so windy too with the, with the, this thing so tight, the Nike feather weight was pulling off. I ended up putting my orange buff um, on my head when I was hiking through parts of, um, you know, the PCT. So this is kind of like just, perfect to clip that little ruby bond my favorite flashlight on there anyway um see you guys i'm so excited i've been out there even when i'm sick i'm still doing 5ks every day you know just to get out there even though i'm still going through my detox with my uh cherry tea and my apple cider vinegar little little bit of honey now and then cayenne pepper and um lemon and i've been drinking that drinking that and um detoxing and it feels absolutely fantastic anyway Talk to you later. Bye-bye.